Thursday, the 28th of June 2018, 9:41 London, Alliance News. Stocks in London on Thursday morning were pulling back from Wednesday's strong gains as global trade war fears persisted. Green King was the worst performer in the FTSE 250 as it posted a fall in annual revenue, as fellow mid-cap constituents BCA Marketplace and Stagecoach also traded lower, following their respective full-year results. The FTSE 100 index was down 0.3%, or 20.23 points, at 7,601.46 early Thursday, having closed 1.1% higher on Wednesday. The mid-cap FTSE 250 index was down 0.3%, or 65.72 points, at 20,778.42. The Mall Share Index was flat at 1,081.04, the CBOE UK 100 was down 0.1% at 12,891.86, the CBOE UK 250 was down 0.2% at 19,002.90, and the CBOE UK Small Companies was Flat at 12,708.28, oil prices are still creeping higher after the U.S. inventories posted a much bigger than expected dry down of nearly 10 million barrels, giving some welcome resilience to FTSE energy shares. Yet neither high oil, nor a weaker GBP U.S. dollar firming against peers, in spite of dovish comments from the Fed's Bullard, are proving sufficient, for now, to offset global trade worries, said Michael Van Dulken, head of research at Exendo Markets. Brent was quoted at 77 United States dollars and 42 cents a barrel early Thursday, remaining around its best level so far in June, fueled recently after the U.S. warned its allies earlier in the week they must end all Iranian oil imports by November 4. Despite this, shares in Royal Dutch Shell were flat while BP was down 0.6% early Thursday as risk-off trade dominated. Additionally, BP on Thursday said it has agreed to buy Chargemaster, the UK's largest electric vehicle charging company. Chargemaster, to be rebranded as BP Chargemaster after the deal completes, operates the UK's largest public network of EV charging points, with over 6,500 across the country. It also designs, builds, sells and maintains EV charging units. In the FTSE 250, brewer and pub operator Green King was 6.8% lower after it said revenue for the year to April 29 fell 1.8% to 2.17 billion British pounds, though pre-tax profit rose 6.8% to 197.5 million British pounds from 184.9 million British pounds. Before exceptional items, profit fell to 243 million British pounds from 273.5 million British pounds. The FTSE 250 constituent held its dividend at 33.2p for the year. Total pub company like for like sales in the year were down 1.7%, with underlying like for like sales, adjusting for snowy weather in the year, down 1.2%. Slower food sales were the main driver of the negative like for like sales, Green King said. Since the end of the year, Green King said pub company sales have been 2.2% higher over the last eight weeks, aided by good weather and sporting fixtures. Stagecoach was down 1.2% as it said revenue for the year to April 28 fell to 3.23 billion British pounds from 3.94 billion British pounds the year before, though pre-tax profit including intangible and exceptional items rose to 130.4 million British pounds from 52 million British pounds. Excluding these items, profit slipped to 179.9 million British pounds from 185.1 million British pounds. The transport operator proposed a final dividend of 3.9p per share, sharply down from 8.1p last year, bringing its total payout to 7.7p, again done from 11.9p the year prior. Whilst the board understands the importance of dividends to its shareholders, the board also feels the dividend needs to be set at a level from which it can grow over time as well as being covered by normalized non-rail cash flows. Given these factors, the board has taken the decision to rebase the dividend, Stagecoach said. 
Having opened higher, shares in BCA Marketplace were down 1.6% in early morning trade despite revenue for the year to April 1st growing to 2.43 billion British pounds from 2.03 billion British pounds, as pre-tax profit climbed to 75.9 million British pounds from 56.4 million British pounds. The vehicle marketplace raised its full-year dividend by 27% to 8.55p from 6.75p. The new financial year has started well, with performance since the year-end in line with our expectations. Across all of our markets there remains significant addressable volume to capture, said Executive Chairman Avril Palmer Baunek. lost 0.7% after the Financial Reporting Council said it has started an investigation into Deloitte's auditing of the building product distributors' financial statements for 2015 and 2016. The probe will focus on the audit of cash and supplier rebates. In continental Europe on Thursday, the CAC 40 in Paris was 0.1% lower, while the DAX 30 in Frankfurt was down 0.1%. A two-day meeting of European Union leaders kicks off on Thursday in Brussels, with focus on migration amid recent tensions in the bloc. Italy, where a new government took office recently, closed its ports earlier in June to a boat carrying more than 600 migrants rescued in the Mediterranean Sea, in a message to other European states that Italy needs more help. Other topics at the summit include relations with Russia, security and defense, digital innovation, jobs, growth and competitiveness, and Brexit. Irish Taisha Leo Varadkar has warned time is running out for Britain to seal a withdrawal agreement with the EU by October, as he travels to Brussels for the summit. In early European data on Thursday, GFK showed Germany's consumer confidence is set to remain stable in July. The forward-looking consumer sentiment index held steady at 10.7 points in July. This was slightly above the expected level of 10.6.ELSEWHERE in the economic calendar on Thursday, Eurozone economic sentiment at 1000 BST. German CPI is at 1300 BST, while in the US, initial jobless claims are at 1330 BST with GDP and personal consumption expenditures due at the same time. In the UK, Andrew Haldane, one of the three Bank of England Monetary Policy Committee members to vote in favour of a rate hike last week, speaks at 14.30 BST, the pound was quoted at 1.3081 United States dollars early Thursday, down from 1.3153 United States dollars late Wednesday. In Asia on Thursday, the Japanese Nikkei 225 index closed flat. In China, the Shanghai Composite closed down 0.9%, while the Hang Seng Index in Hong Kong is down 0.5%, by Lucy Heming, Lucy Heming at AllianceNews.com Copyright 2018 Alliance News Limited. All rights reserved.